Oh, in a oh, flask. Yes. Every in time. the car at the end of the day. Every time. Every single time. Welcome back to another video. I don't know if the rest of you in the UK have noticed, but it's getting considerably colder very quickly. So it's been a nice reminder for us that we have to sort ourselves out for winter. So today we are going to go through our tack boxes and our riding bags to make sure that we are organized for the winter coming and show you some of our winter essentials along the way. with the tack boxes first yeah so we both have a stable kit tack box no it's so dirty <laughs> but they're such good little boxes plenty of space for your daily essentials so yes they're stable kit tack boxes they're made of hard hard plastic and wipeable clean and they retail for around 20 pounds but there are other options available mine is around 10 years old <laughs> and is still going strong Nothing's really broken, so not sponsored, but we love them. highly recommended. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is go through the tack box, take out everything that is not going to be needed now for everyday use, shall we say, and add in what is going to be our new everyday requirements for the horses. It's also a good chance for us to clear out the tack boxes and uh, riding bags because they just accumulate a lot of rubbish over the time so it's a good chance to have a clear out in fact that's what spurred the idea of this video is that i went i really need to clear out that bag so yeah that's what we're doing okay let's go let's go <laughs> so obviously all of our usual grooming equipment we're going to need so we're just going to pop that to the side to go back in straight after um in order to do that i think i'm just going to take the little tray out because i keep most of my grooming essentials in the little tray um, and then all my ad hoc stuff kind of underneath but that's coming out All clean. Now everything's gonna go back in. I am going to start with my grooming kind of non-essentials. So that sweat scraper, just because I wouldn't keep it anywhere else, not necessarily because I'm gonna use it a lot. Um, it's gonna go in the bottom part of the horse side of my grooming kit. Uh, and also a little food floor brush, which as you can see hasn't yet to be used. That might come in handy for using some gum bacon if their feet get a bit knackered this winter but possibly not oh let's go in i'm gonna put in my pseudo cream i don't keep this in in the summer because i don't use it that much but over winter i find i reach for it quite a lot so i'm gonna put it in this side which is where i put all of my more creams in bottles because it keeps them more upright i'm gonna pop back all of my basic grooming brushes i've got a really really soft one for when she's clipped and i've got a body brush which is for when she's not, she does not, Nelly does not tolerate any of the coarser brushes, so these ones are for her, but I do keep a magic brush in there as well for when I'm grooming any of the other horses, because they do tolerate these. My basic grooming brushes, so I have a body brush and a dandy brush, I will probably use both of these over the winter because Walt, Rosie and Quinn are all fine with them, they're slightly bigger so they can go in the bottom part. And then I also have the little compartment that I will chuck on the top which has in it my hoof pick, face brush, the um, little, it's a massage mitt thing but it's very good at removing the mud um, which our horses get caked in and then mane and tail brush. See. I also like to keep, I mean it's totally knackered at the moment but I keep some duct tape because Things rip a lot in the winter, so I just like to have it handy in there. I could keep it in my drawers, but I just don't. I always keep it in here, so it's going back. I'm gonna pop my big old bag of treats back in as well. That's gonna go on the left-hand side. Because I don't have my own pony, I have less creams and 
magic potions and things, potions and lotions, so uh, I can keep more of my own sort of stuff on this side. Or something. I got cheats, just gonna go in there. We'll I've got my leather balsam that I keep in there now, along with a little fibre cloth because I find that I wipe my tack over a lot more after rides in winter because they're more likely to get wet or muddy or dry so that's just to keep my tack in good condition. Having already mentioned we handle some pretty muddy horses over winter and um, these waterproof gloves these are the Shire of Aubryn ones they are kind of more waterproof on the front less so on the back they're more of a kind of material elastic -y kind of material but so these I find are really good for picking up really filthy feet if um, to pick them out or I have to put boots on them a lot just to keep your hands that little bit more warm and dry and um, without kind of ruining your riding gloves or any kind of warmer gloves so waterproof gloves are really handy for that stuff and hay nets. nets as well protecting your hands because I know that when we've got cold hands there's really sore to stuff hay nets essential very essential putting some scissors in as per everyone knows everyone loves these <laughs> and I've also got this little easy groom brush that I keep in here just to if I've got any velcro that's got hay or mud or hair stuck in it that just quickly quickly gets rid of that we do have a separate place where we keep our hithers but actually I think we both just discussed having it all in a tack box it's just gonna make it a little bit quicker because I'll be riding in the evenings and just being able to get out as quickly as possible uh, is gonna be essential so we've also we've both got equiflector boots and um, so that's the shy's equiflector range i've got pink haley's got yellow and um, we'll just keep them in there i made the sales stuff back in and the horse licks just to distract her when i'm putting on any creams back in my little tray of these little face brush and her hoof pick are gonna go in the top and I might just leave this little pack of polos there in case she's very very good and these I'm gonna put these and um, when we go away she poos a lot so I keep these plaiting bands in my tack box so that I can quickly plait her tail up and out of the way when we go traveling also in the high vis selection but for horse this is a uh, high vis breastplate um, we also have light ones ones that have lights on them if we go have to go out in the actual dark um, but this one actually belongs to me, so I'm going to put that one in my tack box. Very good for low light hacking, or just hacking in general. Mm. Be seen, be safe. Be safe, be seen. Perfect. So that's that. That was satisfying, wasn't it? <laughs> Things that are going back are all these little creams that I've not used for a couple of months really they're gonna go in my lotions and potions drawer my hoof brush actually I'm gonna put that in I am gonna put that in Heather's already said and then hoof oil that I use only really for competitions I don't really know why, why that snuck in there but it's going back in there as well and the fly spray and this I never really use so it's going into my spare grooming bag along with the sweat scraper and the dandy brush that I haven't reached for for months Onto the bags. Onto the bags. <laughs> because we don't live at our yard and we car share a lot, we found having a sort of whole doll was the best way to bring our riding stuff with, with us, us wherever we go. Yeah. And having our essentials just already packed, already ready to go, so you're not thinking about it and you can just grab yes. one thing. So I have the Shires Aubrey whole doll in black. I've had it for maybe two years now. And it's been a lifesaver. I have the GS Equestrian own brand hollow bag. Which actually, now I'm holding it up, looks significantly bigger than yours. But I don't think it it's is. It's more structured. It's more structured. It is more structured. It's got a solid bottom. It's a really great bag. I'll talk through it as we go. But yeah. I love it. To give it out, put it all back in and discuss our essentials on their way back in. You know, there's several things in here that I've got to talk about at the end that have had to be removed. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they were in the bag somewhere, I told you! <laughs> Yesterday I was like, I have got them somewhere. I knew I'd put them somewhere, I forget to put them. Oh god. Oh, my earrings! I fucking knew they were in here! I have my Christmas earrings in here. Okay, first up on our winter essentials list, which if you watched our last sort of winter essentially type video about a year or so ago, 
they were probably mentioned then, however we will mention them again. And that is waterproof trousers. We both have the same pair, and they're the toggy waterproof trousers, the ones that have the gathered bit at the bottom so you can tuck them into your riding boots or your welly. We both have them in a size small. They're nice, yeah. like well fitted for a size small. We're both size 10 on the bottom, and they're pretty reasonable. And they've got a little gathered bit at the back. Everybody needs waterproof trousers in winter, even if it's not raining. They just, just keep you warm. warm. Yeah, they just keep you warm. And the only thing I'd say about these is sometimes stretching to get on. I avoid riding in them unless it's chucking it down. So do we. Um, so, do I. so do we. So do we. So do we. But love them, and once I'm actually on, I don't. It doesn't bother me riding yeah. in them. Agreed. So this is a winter essential for those really cold days. It comes in and out of my bag because it's annoying. You have to reactivate it. I have one of these little heated hand warmers that you you put them in the hot water and they soak up and then you click it and it gets all warm. And I just find if you're spending a long day out of the horses and you get those really cold hands and you're like, I can't do the buckles and things because my hands are so cold, then uh, these are essential. And it just has this little sheep llama, I'm not sure, fluffy thing that it goes on. Along the theme of hand warming, I have, I have quite a few pairs of gloves None of which are waterproof, other than those waterproof ones we spoke about in the tack boxes. But I have spares in case they get wet. They're kind of windproof, spray proof, but not quite waterproof. So that's on my Santa list for this year. Gloves and spare gloves. Very essential. I've got a first aid kit. I made it myself, um, just with some antiseptics, some painkillers, wound wash, etc. We are more likely to have slips, trips, accidents in the winter, I feel. I keep this in my bag all year round, but I would say if you don't have one, just a little human kit, because mm. we live half an hour away. Sometimes you need something now. So that's going back in. That is also just, we live half an hour away. I don't know if anyone else has a similar situation, but we're insured on each other's cars. And I think even just in winter, that's probably a good idea. Because you never, I mean, just generally all year round, you never know what could happen. Um, and I think it kind of hit home when I fell off Nelly. Probably that should have been a day that you drove home. Yeah. Um, so we're both now insured on each other's cars, so we can drive, for, no matter who drives up. I keep a lip balm in my bag, always, especially in winter. Ugh. I haven't got a first aid kit or a human first aid kit or like those wee things. So I'm going to be purchasing those and getting a wee hole type thing of those tissues. That's sort of essential. I've got tissues as well. Oh, and the other thing, ladies, or anybody with a uterus. Tampons. Or pads, preference. Pads. I usually have a pad, but I think I had to use it. <laughs> <laughs> got a woolly hat, self-explanatory, but sometimes we do use the Equilite headbands or a headband, but sometimes you just need your whole head covered. So my hat, my riding hat stays in my bag, but going along with that, these bad boys, these are the Foxy Equestrian yep. um, ear warmers and they just strap onto your hat. We might have spoken about them before, but they strap onto your hat and they keep your ears nice and toasty. There is your demo. Another essential which you'll see on, on our Instagram a lot and in a lot of our photos that end up being posted in winter <laughs> yeah. is the Equilite, which is a headband that is fleece lined with a little torch. And it is amazing because you need your hands free when you're doing horses. Horses are not generally that easy with one hand. So this little touch is three settings and it keeps our ears warm. So even in the daytime, we tend to reach for these a lot. Mm -hmm. If we're not wearing this or it's got wet, we'll wear the hat or another headband because got to keep cozy. It just makes life so much more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Just before I put my hat back into my bag as well, and we are going on a hack today, so I will be using this. I have my Equiflector hat band in pink. I also have one, Ailey has one. Mine has a little light on the back. I will be honest, it's really hard to turn on and I've not actually really ever been able to get it on when I need it to be on. These are great on our hats and to be honest, winter riding, unless I'm going for a posh lesson, even if I'm just in school, I'll just leave it on the hat just so it stays on and it's always on there. Yeah, same. Another thing we wear more so on the windy days, because it gets annoying when it's wet, is a little neck cover. This one's got Highland cows in it, which is a bit of an in joke. But it goes around your neck and it just you can just pull it up over your nose, which I won't do whilst I'm speaking, uh, whilst you're riding. And you can actually do your chin strap up underneath it to help hold it up. So you would wear it like this. And it just keeps that layer of skin here 
a little bit more protected, which is great. Sticking on the high vis theme from me, uh, I have two different types of high vis. This one I usually go to in summer because it's there's less of it. It's like more kind of just for wearing over like a light t-shirt when it's too hot. So we both have these, but actually, given that this is not really an essential for winter, I think I will be removing it from my bag. Um, I'll probably take it home and pop it in my writing drawer, and I thought I will repack it for next spring. I instead have a kind of tabard type um, with this, which Ailey got me kindly. Referring to Rosie. We've kind of demonstrated before how good the reflectiveness is on it. I'm also going to try and look for a reflective jacket to have that little bit extra reflectiveness if I am out in the dark, but for the, now this is like a really good substitute and I'll be wearing it a lot, so it's going in my bag. Whilst we're on high vis, I'll just quickly mention because a lot of our winter essentials kind of gears around high vis, I've got a pair of high vis gloves so that when it's dark or dull, if you're doing your hand signals, this is quite good because the cars can see you doing your hand signal. And we've also got an exercise sheet, which I'm sure a lot of you would agree is that winter essential, but mine is in my high-vis colour, so it kind of doubles as both. And it's got a reflective panel there as well, and that is from Dark Horse Equestrian. The gloves are from Shire's Equiflector range as well. On the lighting front, I also have a running strap. It's like a running harness for your body, and like as I said, because it actually sometimes is pitch black when we go out, we'll wear that. So it's just, it gives me a light at the back and a light at the front and it just helps me see and also the cars see me. For the bag, I've got a couple of towels. Again, self-explanatory. Sometimes you get wet and you need a towel. <laughs> Lastly, I just find them. Got a spare pair of socks. Mm -hmm. Nothing makes you colder in winter than wet feet. So sometimes just even for driving home, if you've got, yeah. had got, have got wet feet, so nice to have a spare pair of socks. And I actually have a spare pair of these in my car for like everyday life, having wet feet. But I obviously I'm always in my car. So I keep these in the bag. I did have a spare pair of socks somewhere. I'll find them and put them in my bag. But I also have spare pair of socks. So in keeping with the theme of obviously protecting yourself from being wet and horrible jackets, I will put a spare jacket in the bottom of my bag. Um, it protects my hats, which are obviously in there as well, just gives them a little bit of padding and um, also just gives me a spare jacket in case it gets real chilly. Yeah, it's nice to come back from a ride and put on a dry jacket. And that is what is in the bags. Obviously you've got your self-explanatory winter essentials, which everybody would have. Rugs for the horses, your food, our backdrop of feed. Bedding. bedding. So the only other thing that's kind of more specific to our horses is they all suffer from mud fever. The mud is unavoidable, the ground underneath us brilliant in the summer, which means that it's soggy as shit in the winter. So they all get their legs clean and dried and some of the hoof to heel. Heel to hoof? Heel to hoof slathered on their legs every evening or morning if their legs are wet when they come in. They get that. And because my horse is a chestnut mare thoroughbred, she also has mud fever boots that go on all of her legs to try and add a bit of extra protection when she's out. And they come off at night when she comes in. We obviously have footwear. Everybody needs some footwear. <laughs> Which I'll show you a better video of later. That could be a good thumbnail. <laughs> Footwear, like having good wellies, make we sure they work. We also drive in different shoes. Obviously I'm pretty sure most people will because wellies aren't the safest to drive in, but uh, have warm, clean, dry trainers in our car to drive with so we don't have to keep our feet in our cold wellies. And obviously a very good jacket. Mm. And everybody's good jacket is different. The bag of crap that we've emptied out of our tap boxes, including some party hats. Muffin Sun cream. A broken earring from last Christmas. <laughs> rubbish, rubbish, and more rubbish. Some of this just needs redistributed, most of it needs binned. That's us. That's our winter essentials. A bit of a roundabout way of telling you them. However, I hope that there's a few things in there that you can add to your Santa list. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. or purchase for yourself or your pony so that you can have a more seamless winter because oh and a cup of tea in a oh, flask yes every in time. the car at the end of the day every time every single time if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you aren't already and if you have any essentials for winter that we haven't mentioned leave them in the comments down below so that other people can see them and that we can maybe check them out to see if they suit us you can also follow us on instagram to see more of our winter journey at two jolly jockeys on all social media so yeah come and give us a wee follow and until next time we'll see you later bye, bye.